If you wanna make some crazy gains like this, 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 or even this, you need to simplify your trading. Support and resistance is the only thing that you need. I'm gonna show you my exact strategy that makes me over a million dollars a year trading only one to two hours per day. Anyone can do this. If you have a nine to five job, if you have not a lot of money, anyone could do this. It's the simplest strategy and I am going to teach you right now in less than 10 minutes. So stick around and take notes. So support and resistance and consolidation is all we're looking for. When I say consolidation, right, we're looking for wedges and flags. Wedges and flags means higher lows, lower highs, right, consolidation. So how do we go about identifying a setup? So first thing you wanna do is chart out support and resistance. What is support and resistance? So we're looking for bounces, right, previous support, acts as resistance, acts as resistance. We could scroll out also here and look for key levels, right? It acts as resistance there. Um, and, and what you wanna do is you wanna chart out a bunch of levels that are in the area of the current price. So here is another big resistance, right? Resistance, resistance, acts as resistance here, acts as resistance there. So you wanna find common levels across the board that line up and that touch multiple times, right? Old resistance, becomes new support always. That's how the market works, okay? So as you can see here, we have two lines, one above current price and one below current price. So the, the, the current price is currently trading in a range, right? And that range is this zone here in between the two lines, right? The, the previous resistance that's now acting as support and the previous support that is now acting as resistance, okay? So we're kind of trading in this box here. And as you can see, volume is slowly declining. So we always wanna see declining volume as things start to consolidate, right? This means the sellers are kinda, of, you know, t wearing off. And if we kind of get any move to the upside, buyers are gonna step in and we're gonna set up for that next leg up, okay? So one, we have the declining volume. Let's zoom in a little bit here, okay? We have declining volume, we have lower highs, right? And we have higher lows, okay? Doesn't need to be perfect, but this is what we have right now, okay? We have a previous resistance, acts as resistance again, then it turns into a support. Now we're consolidating below. We can even draw it like this, okay? So we have lower highs, higher lows in this zone. Now what we need to do is plan our entry point, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an entry over this most recent high, and we're gonna have a stop loss below the most recent low, right? So that would be here, okay? And how do we go about setting a price target, you may ask? So the first price target is gonna be the high of the flag. In this case, 454.15, and then I'll go over how to set price targets in a minute here. So when do we enter, right? Everyone always asks, how do we enter? When do we enter? Do we wait for a candle closed? How do we know, you know, confirmation, right? You don't want to get liquidity grabbed or faked out. You get in as soon as it starts to break the resistance, okay? As volume starts to come in, right? And we see a big green candle like this or like this or like this, right? Volume will come in as soon as it starts to break out. And that is when you enter. You don't wait for a five minute candle close, a two minute candle close, whatever it may be. You don't need level two data. You don't need unusual options activity. You don't need ICT fairy dust, right? You just need to enter as soon as it starts to break through, okay? 451.57 in this case, right? Then you may ask, what happens if we, if we sell off here? You exit below support. So if it drops down, right, you take a stop as soon as it breaks this level below, 448.55 in this case, right? Previous resistance, access support. I would exit as soon as it starts to break below. And you might say, well, I wanna wait for a five minute candle close in case it reverses. If it reverses, you can always get back in. Right, we wanna manage our risk, we wanna manage our downside. So you need to exit as soon as it starts to break below. That way you don't end up holding, 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 and then you're down 100%, right? You need to avoid that. So you need to size correctly going into the trade, right? Less than 5% of your account. That way your emotions doesn't get out of check. And you know your, your emotions shouldn't even be involved because you have a plan going into the trade, right? So you have an entry point, you have a stop loss point. I'll change this to red to, to help identify. And now we have a price target above. And you may ask, how do we know what the price targets above that are, right? Let's zoom out a little bit because we're gonna need to look at the other support and resistances, right? So we have a previous candle right here. Previous support, acts as support, acts as resistance, right? Very, very clear. Above that, 
what do we got? We're, right, we have this previous support, access support here, and then we have this previous resistance above, right? Resistance ends up acting as resistance there and there, right? So now we kind of have targets for this trade. So now we have a plan in place. This is exactly what you need on every single trade. And as you get better at trading, you can kind of map this out in your head, right? It becomes automatic. It takes few, it takes a few years to learn, but when you're watching me trade live every single day, which I trade live nine times a week, Monday through Friday, in the morning and the afternoon, the first hour and the last hour of market open, I am live every day. I'm entering calls and puts live. You see my entries, you see my exits, it's all there. You see the strike price, you see the expiration, you see the price that I enter in at, you see the amount of contracts I buy. Everything is there, fully authentic, uh, fully vetted by Alerts Fund. Okay. Now, let's go through this actually playing out. So, you enter as soon as it starts to break 451.57. Right, let's hit play, right? And this is why you don't want to set your stop loss too tight, right? This is a perfect example why, right? It dips down below this most recent low and this little wedge, but a lot of people probably got stopped out here. We want to set our stop loss a little further down below that most recent important level, right? Previous resistance, resistance, resistance ends up holding here, right? If it broke down below here, we'd get out. But here, right, it still held the wedge. Okay, and you enter as soon as it starts to break out. So as you can see, I entered the 440, uh, the 452 calls, 813 expiration at 219 uh, per contract, right? I entered, I think 80, 80 something contracts, right? And this was right before market closed. So I took the risk to swing this overnight because I like this setup, right? I always play based off, chart, based off the chart. I'm going to enter based off the chart and I'm going to exit based off the chart. I'm not going to exit based off my P&L, right? When you're a beginner trader, you don't want to stare at your, your broker and your account go up and down in value. That is the worst thing you could do because that will play with your emotions. And as you could see here, right? Volume comes in end of day. And then we end up gapping up, options up over 100%, and we continue to run. Now let's continue this further. Look what happens. We start to reject 458.08 or 458.05. Why? Right? We have that level charted out perfectly. Previous support might act as a new resistance. But if the market is strong and we continue to push, we're going to break through and continue to that next level up above. Let's see what happens here, right? So it rejects, it pulls back a little bit, but the market was very strong and we continued to the upside. Contracts ended up running up 400%. It was an amazing play, but this is just a classic example of every single trade that I take. If it doesn't look like this, I don't want to take it. Let's go over another example quick here. The video, right? So what do we do first? We have to chart out the horizontal support and resistance, right? We have previous resistance, previous resistance, access support, and look what happens, right? Price pushes through, we pull back and we consolidate, right? We consolidate very nice and look how we consolidate. We're creating lower highs and higher lows. This is a textbook wedge, guys. If there is a setup that looks like this, you need to get in and you need to you need to set your plan and create your plan. Higher lows, lower highs, look at the volume, decreasing volume, and then volume comes in, we gap up and we push through all day. Every single time you need to take this, right? Brief little overview of the strategy. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out to me more than happy to go into it in detail if you're not already in the group make sure to join we have a free trial we also have a free discord where i post my watch list every single day we have a bunch of analysts who alert trades it's all in real time there's live trading there's hours and hours and hours probably over 100 to 200 hours of live trading in the educational tab i do play reviews I do play recaps. I live and record my sessions every single day. There's nothing better. Everything's authentic and it's all there for you to learn. It's your future, not mine. You need to take advantage of it.